Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel in English. So today we have a Hyundai i20 diesel ECM. In this ECM, we have discussed about how to test how to test ECM on table with injector firing, uh, DRV rail pressure and everything on table without any car. So uh, before installing that we have to connect the ECM to the this machine ECM testing machine and uh, we have connected we have connected immobilizer and this key we have to put in a ring this is called the key ring and uh, after that uh, after that you will see there and there is a main relay switch ignition key switch and cranking switch so this device is a uh, cranking device so this is our main and uh, this is our ignition switch when we on the ignition you can see there check lights and immobilizer light main light and Bosch pump light showing in my machines so and here you can see here you have connected the ECM i20 when we cranking on injector will be fire as you show in this machine so injector will firing uh, here LED is glowing step by step and uh, this is our key uh, which holding at uh, ring and this is our ECM Verna Fluidic ECM EDC 17C08 and uh, we have uh, I am now I am off the cranking and then start again for checking and you can see here there is a firing start 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, now we will remove that and I will connect to the another ECM because we have uh, I have repaired two ECM so one is another uh, one is a diesel engine and another is a petrol engine before connecting the petrol engine we have to remove the diesel diesel engine connector immobilizer and uh, whatever we have to connect uh, connect for checking the diesel engine so this ecm we have to put outside and connect to the nether ecm you can see here this is the connector with ecm those we have repaired and now we will connect to the ecm connector one and ecm connector Two. This is uh, this ECM is a Alto Car ECM, uh, Denso ECM. This is Denso ECM, and uh, we uh, we change the microprocessor. Uh, so this is a common fault for car, Indian car. Uh, and uh, now we will connecting. Uh, now we will connecting the uh, immobilizer, immobilizer socket, and here we have. Here we have immobilizer so you can install the immobilizer and uh, before uh, before inst installing the key we have to put ignition switch and this is our we don't have a key uh, so we put the uh, transponder to the ignition switch and uh, and I will uh, switch main switch on and ignition on as you see here check light and immobilizer light glowing main relay light also glowing and uh, now we will start cranking so before cranking we have to confirm that our ECM is working properly and uh, a check light and security light is coming and cranking cranking name showing or not showing ECM as you see here also is showing and now we will crank uh, we will press the uh, press the button for the cranking as you see here there is a start cranking uh, one two three four as you see but there is a problem uh, coil uh, injector is injector is firing but coil is not not firing so in this time uh, in this ECM we have a small problem so uh, as you see here uh, this is video for checking the ECM and now we will fix the coil problem and send to the, the customer so thank you thanks for watching